Always have your must-haves at your fingertips. The Yeti Camino Carry. The fill it up, spray it down, haul it anywhere bag. This one just got back from an afternoon of sand and surf. These hefty handles can support up to 50 pounds, and these shoulder straps have been tested for up to 300 pounds. This hook closure can be used to secure the wide opening of the bag. These deployable dividers keep the bag upright while ensuring your gear is accessible and organized. I packed my Yeti hat and my wetsuit. Even wet and sandy gear is no match for this bag's thick skin shell. It's waterproof, puncture-resistant walls keep moisture and frays at bay. And if you prefer, these deployable dividers can be hidden so you have one large opening. The hitch point grid is great for attaching things like a speaker or other Yeti compatible gear like a bottle opener or a bottle sling. You can utilize one of two quick stash pockets for smaller essentials like sunscreen, surf wax, and your sunglasses. The EVA molded bottom provides a sturdy base, keeping water out and the bag upright even while empty. And once it's ready for whatever adventure comes next, Hi there, today I wanted to show you guys this awesome bag I just got on Amazon. It is so big and I'm so excited to use it. It's big, but it's not that thick, but it can still hold so much and I'm so excited to use this. So it comes with these straps already on it, which is great for like over the shoulder, just like this. It also comes with a longer strap inside that hooks on to these on the side. So it could be like a crossbody bag as well. Show you a few features on this. So it has a zipper on the back with some extra space in there. Very nice. Inside there's a bunch of little storage spaces as well. So right here we have, which I am thinking that's where I wanna put my computer if I'm taking this with my computer anywhere. This is a great little slot for the computer to be by itself. And then on the other side of it, you have this little zipper compartment put stuff in there and then these two little sections right here that you can put stuff in this would be great for like writing you i'm so excited to use this to carry everything that i usually take with me that i can't fit in the bags that i have so I definitely recommend getting this bag hey today i want to take a look at the travel pro max lot 5 soft tote so we'll take a look at some exterior features of this bag take a look inside see what we can pack I'm going to throw this on my shoulder to show what that looks like. Then I'll finish up with some overall thoughts and impressions on this bag. So let's start by taking a look at the exterior of this bag. As far as handles on the bag, you'll have one set of grab handles here, or carry handle, that do Velcro together. The bag will include a shoulder strap that's going to be adjustable, and it will have a shoulder pad with it. Looking at pockets on the bag, of course you'll have one main large compartment on this bag. And then you'll have two pockets on the front, one larger and then one smaller. And you will have a side pocket included as well. Turning the bag to the back here, they do include a place for a luggage slash ID tag. And you will see the piece of material, or I guess you could kind of call this a strap that's going to go over the retractable handle on your luggage. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Hey everyone, in today's video, we're checking out this big fella, the Reigns Weekend Duffel. A simple and sleek, no fuss travel bag. To complement the range of Reigns' bags, we have the Weekend Duffel. A spacious 44 litre duffel bag built to carry a long weekend's worth of gear and necessities. The bag is constructed of a woven polyester that is deeply coated in a thick polyurethane. The polyurethane material is incredibly hydrophobic and allows water to bead and run off the bag very easily. On the front of the bag we have a very subtly embossed Reigns logo here. In between the stitched parts of the webbing here are loops that you can attach gear onto if you wish. Or you can also feed gear through both loops and secure your gear that way as well. On the sides of the bag we do have compression straps that allow you to secure down your load. And especially when you're not carrying too much in this bag, the top of the bag can get quite floppy, quite flappy. So it's good to secure down these compression straps to provide more structural rigidity to the bag. On the opposite ends of the duffel, we do have these D-rings here that allow you to attach your shoulder strap to. Although if you do not wish to use the shoulder strap, you can easily detach that and put that back inside the duffel. As for the shoulder strap itself, there is no... Take care and we'll see you next time. 
Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Relatively quick video for you today. A company called Turret reached out to me a few days ago and asked if I would like to check out cooler bag, sort of all-in-one commuter day trip type bag. Well one, I haven't used a messenger bag in a few years, but two, the more important thing here, this is a multifaceted bag. So just taking a quick look at it, first and foremost, obviously, it's a messenger bag. You know, you've got this flap that opens up on the top where you can stick your stuff. The inside compartmentalization is a little bit limited. You've got this little very thinly padded divider here in the middle a small almost what I would call a sleeve a flap here in the back but the one thing you might actually notice if you're looking at this this interior material is kind of shiny, kind of reflective, because this is not just a messenger bag, this is a cooler. But let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below, and if you're new here, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button if you want to get notified whenever I put out new videos, and I will see you again very soon. 